right, check it out, people. We got two Mopars here. One pretty cool, one, eh, nah, not really. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna piss off the guys that are into those cars. <laughs> but uh, check it out, man. 1968 Plymouth Fury convertible. Look at that. That's rough. That's a rough car. That is a rough car. That Bondo. Uh, you see that VIN? Alright. Normally I'd clean it up a little bit, but unfortunately I can't do that. Now I'm short on time. I gotta get out of here. I actually came to pull a part from this car. Yeah, it's got a good, uh, I think some of this was this was recovered almost i think yeah they recovered i don't think it would have been like this from the factory i think they recovered that right but uh i came to take the the drive shaft out of this car why would i need a drive shaft out of this car i don't know who knows why maybe i'll say maybe i'll uh say why i need a drive shaft for one of these or a car similar to this sometime in the future. But, uh, yeah. So the main reason I need a drive shaft is because this has a big block underneath. And because it's got a big block, uh, the big block transmission the 727 torque flight I'm not sure which which, which big block it is a 383 or is it a 440 probably a 383 maybe it's a two barrel though the uh, fender tag is gone unfortunately She is a drum brake car. Oh, you probably could see that right there. Windshield's cracked. I mean, there's still some good parts on it, I guess. Oh. But they're just not really all that desirable, you know? Maybe just in parts. That, that decklet's not going to open, unfortunately. I wish I. I'd love to see what's inside of it. I bet that the decklet looks like it's in good shape, but I don't want to. I don't want to tear that up trying to trying to get it open. Who knows what's in there? It might be some goodies. Oh man, I, I am. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the time, even though I'm very intrigued as to what could be in that. The deck. And all right, now for the uh, Valari. I think it's is that what this is, guys? This one has the Leaning Tower of Power. Yeah, cruise control. You know, a little fancy with it. Let me see if I can get up, get up close there. I don't know how much of that you can. The Google man can decipher. another tag right here I don't know what this tag is all about an extra tag there yeah. I'm not sure <laughs> 77 Plymouth Volare at the 4060 dash pad throw the dash uh, is that a a little warpage there. Steering wheel's gone. Cluster. Super hard. Uh, headliners in good shape. I 
Oh, let me get back out of this thing. I'm not here. Get you a better look. Oh, it's a premiere. Man, it's super fancy. Pretty straight car. I don't think this one has a lot of rust on it. This one looks, looks pretty solid underneath. I mean, I think. Let's see. Let me turn that light on. Actually, yeah, this one's actually, I'd say, pretty solid for. This one must have had a pampered life. Be in a carport or something, or or a garage for a good while. Oh, can't really see much there. It's it's not in good shape. Well, there they are, people. Your two uh, Mopars. All right. Until the next one.